John. I think all of the myths, the pagan ones too, are in different forms allegories of the spiritual journey. So Jesus is every man. He's you uh, on your journey. And the figure in the ancient pagan myths is not just of a father and son, God as father, God as son, which is what you get obviously in Christianity, but it's also God as mother or goddess as mother and daughter. And what's interesting is that the conclusion that Peter and I came to was that the Gnostic Christians, far from being later heretics, were the creators of the Jesus mythology. They were the original Christians. And that they, in their, in their other Gospels, of which we now have a lot, there is also a mother and daughter. And that is Sophia, often. They have different names. But right. the two aspects of Sophia is one of them. And in the Gospel story that most people know, that is represented by the two Marys, Mary the mother and Mary Magdalene, who is the... When we talked earlier about the Christ being the spirit or the pneuma, which is where we're all one, that is represented by the male principle, and the psyche or the soul is represented by the female. So that in, in terms of the God the Father is, is the uh, pneumatic presence from which everything arises, and the uh, goddess is all form. So when I talk about it forming, she's that. And so we're in her now. She's everything, every mm -hmm. touch, every color. Every... You think of the ancients, knew it, the night sky is the goddess. It's like everything within the cosmos is her. It's also, so it's all form and it's soul, but it's your soul. And the idea here, the one that I want to revise, but the ancient idea is you've fallen and Mary Magdalene is, is the fallen soul. And she is purified by Jesus, by the seven demons, and that's... We know it today as the seven chakras. It's actually an ancient idea of the seven planets, which you get also in Mithraism and in ancient paganism. So she's purified, and then she becomes wise soul. And she becomes, in the Gnostic mythology, she becomes the teacher of the disciples after Christ dies. She's the wise soul. She discovers that the tomb is empty, and she then teaches all of the foolish men actually in the story and the men are the signs of the zodiac that's the 12 the 12 around jesus in fact one of the gnostic gospels you see him standing in the middle leading a dance and he will call out and they will ref there's a call and refrain and these are the 12 signs of the zodiac which you also get in all the other traditions uh, so the idea there which people again today probably know more through the east than they do the west, but it's the, it's also it's the Western tradition from Pythagoras, is that your the soul is on the on the wheel of grief and it's going round and round incarnating on the wheel of grief and it needs to get off the wheel by going to the centre, which which doesn't move and that's the spirit or the Christ.